The French city of Thiers has been the capital of France's cutlery industry for six centuries. However, while some French cities became synonymous with the knives that originated from these places, like for example the famous Lyol knife, there has never been a knife named after the city of Thiers. Until 1994. In that year, a few knife makers and knife enthusiasts founded the Confrérie du Couteau de Thiers, the Brotherhood of the Thiers Knife. And these people decided to design an emblematic knife for their hometown. In November 1994, a prototype of the Thiers Knife was presented to the public. And since then, 45 manufacturers and 11 knife makers have come up with more than 500 interpretations of the Letier pattern. Here are just a few examples from my collection. Welcome to my review of this book, Le Thiers, by the Confrérie du Couteau de Thiers, which was released only a few months ago. It's a hardcover book with 144 pages. The first 16 pages cover the history of the Thiers knife and also the history of the city of Thiers and how it became France's most important center of cutlery. The rest of the book features portraits of cutlery companies and knife makers. There are lots of photos, whereas the texts are relatively short. And the good news is, the book is bilingual. It's in French and in English. Let me quickly show you some of the better known manufacturers such as Chambriard, Clotosome and fontini Pateau. But there are lots of other manufacturers and knife makers I had never heard of before. And I made a lot of new discoveries. It's very interesting to explore the various interpretations of the Letier knife pattern. So if you are interested in French knives and in the Thiers knife in particular, I can highly recommend this book to you. Now the not so good news is the book is not that easy to come by. At least for the time being the easiest way to order it is to send a message to the Confrérie directly. The website and the email address are in the video description. The price is 20 euro plus shipping.